right. Good morning, everybody. So right now I'm in uh, Connaught Place, Delhi, and today I'll be heading to Georgia, uh, another country. And we're currently waiting for the taxi Uber to go to the airport, and we'll be boarding the flight at 8 p.m. Bye bye, India. It was really fun to be with you. So we are currently in our hotel and the hotel is located at a very good uh, uh, location. It's near the old Tbilisi and has all the uh, famous attractions nearby. So I'll wake up tomorrow and visit all of them one by one. All right, so we are right now in uh, old Tbilisi. We arrived yesterday and we really didn't do anything today except uh, just check out other rooms. But yeah, we're currently going to grab some lunch. And from there, you know, we might also go to a marketplace or in you know, a public bath. But yeah, today we are going to go around Tbilisi. All right, so we ordered a Georgian beer. And it's called a Takkari. All right, so we got our uh, Georgian bread. It's called Hachapuri and some pork steak. After such a long time being in India and Pakistan and Bangladesh, I'm eating a pork dish. Alright, so in order to prepare the hachapuri, you need to mix the egg over here and the butter with the cheese. This is how you mix it. And then you grab one piece of bread, dip it in. And this is how you have hachapuri. Alright, so we finished our food in the restaurant. And right in front of the restaurant, we have this uh, Holy Trinity Church of Georgia. This is the most iconic church of Georgia, situated in Tbilisi. I'm going to go inside and have a look. Come out to bow. Wow. So since I've been traveling around Bangladesh, India and Pakistan, I've never been in a Christian majority country as of now. And Georgia is a first Christian majority country. And also this place, this country, uh, the, the biggest religion is Christian, Orthodox Christian to be specific. And these are Orthodox style uh, buildings. It's really beautiful. Ah, met this small cat in the street of Georgia. <laughs> Alright, so we're currently uh, on our way to a spring uh, hot bath and also the under underground Soviet market, underground uh, Soviet style market. So 
Swedish uh, underground market. They specifically have, in the beginning, they have the wines. Georgia is very famous for the grapes and wineries. So uh, naturally you can expect a lot of wines. And then you have some kind of, I don't know, preserved meat, cheese. Wow. You have a lot of jams and juices as well. Yes, they grow a lot of fruits here. And just this general souvenir over here. And also some traditional clothing over here with the papakas, which uh, since I'm a UFC fan, these papakas, this Dagestan is where these papakas. So right over here in the Maidana, yes, Maidana Bazaar. They are selling this wine ice cream, so I'm gonna try one of them. So while walking down the streets of Old Tbilisi, we came across this juice place. And which one? Which one? Frog. See juice how they arrange this uh, place. Can I get the mixed berry? Yes. How much is it? 15. 15. Thank you. Alright, so I'm in the Georgian public bath. And it costs 10 lari to use the public bath right now over here. So I'm just gonna go inside. But before going inside, I have to switch off because everybody gets butt naked. Yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy some time over here. I'm done with my uh, tour around the public bath. Had to get butt naked, but it was regardless a really good experience though. Oh. Oh. One more, one more, wait, 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 one minute. Alright, so we are right now at a place called the Chronicles of Georgia. So this uh, sculpture was uh, constructed to commemorate the statehood and the dissemination of uh, Georgian statehood and Christianity respectively. Wow. Look at how grandiose this thing is. Scale of it. Poof. Quickly, quickly, Georgian script. But right after completing my day, I'm at the Holy Trinity Church again. Wow. 